Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to manually patch an e-build. And I want to provide you with a real world example of a um of something that kind of happened to me about a week ago i would say and uh I'll, I'll show you guys this from uh top to bottom how to patch an e-build and how to fix a bug that i was actually having in one of my favorite programs so with all that being said let's go ahead and flip over to the desktop and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about okay so the very first thing is the program that we're going to be looking at is audacity now most of you guys know and i think or i think i've told you guys this before but i use audacity when i make these videos um, what i do is I make these videos, right, and then I bring the video format file, I bring it in Audacity so I can edit the actual audio file. Now, the reason I do this is because this microphone, the bass on this microphone, absolutely sucks. If I did not edit the, the video or the audio from the video files, it, it would just be really horrible audio. So, that's like an extra step that I do to hopefully provide pretty decent audio to you guys so what happened was about two weeks ago i updated my system right didn't think nothing of it my up uh, my system updated fine it was totally fine well the last video that i made i went to edit one of my audio files and audacity kept giving me these errors and it kept saying stuff like uh, let me bring up audacity and i'll show you guys exactly what it says but it's pretty much telling me that it cannot find ffmpeg the newest ffmpeg right so see we get this error right here and i'll try to zoom this in a little bit for you guys but pretty much just saying hey uh you can't import a .mp4 file without the ffmpeg library so my first train of thought my first thought was did i uninstall ffmpeg well no i did not so if i do an eix ffmpeg and let me uh zoom in for you guys you can see I have FFmpeg installed right here. It's version 6.0. Keep that in mind. It's version 6.0, right? So then um, I went to the options here on Audacity. And I went to manually go find the, the library. Because I was like, I have it installed. I can just manually select the library, you know, right here. And where it says FFmpeg library, go to locate, and then I can type in, I think it's user, user libs 64. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the path anyway. And I tried for about an hour to get this to work. It didn't work. So then I was like, this has to be an error. This has to be a bug or something weird is going on. So what I did was I hopped on. I hopped on Google, okay, and I was doing some searching around on the Gentoo forms here, and come to find out, the problem is that FFmpeg 6.0, it did, wasn't playing nicely with uh, Audacity 3.2.5, I believe that's the version in a way, um, yeah. So I have version 3.2.5 installed, um, and it wasn't, Audacity was not seeing the new FFmpeg, okay? It is a bug, and pretty much the developers, they, everyone knows about it, right? Um, as soon as that happened, they, they came out with a patch, and this person said, I just compiled Audacity with FFmpeg use flag, and this guy was having the same issue. Well someone said hey the issue is being tracked through this bug report right here okay so i click this link right and it sends me to this bug report bugzilla page where people can uh post bugs and everything and post fixes for them so right here they you know they knew about it so pretty much they they said hey version 6 isn't playing nice with audacity the audacity team they know about it um it's going to uh it's going to be fixed 
in version 3.3.3. However, if you are still running version 3.2.5, you need to patch it. All right. So you can see right here, it said the patch is already included in 3.3.3. But here's the actual patch, right? So what we need to do is we need to download this 4419.patch. Now I've already downloaded it, but I want to show you guys how to actually patch it, right? So I was actually questioning this myself. I was like, man, I was like, I've never patched an email before. I have ran Gen 2 for damn near, you know, at least 15 years. Uh, and... I've never had to patch an e-build, so I was like, hey, how do I do this? Well, I kept scrolling down, kept scrolling down, and, you know, people, this right here caught my eye, right? It, someone said, hi, everybody, uh, the patch works fine, uh, move to ETC portage patches and where we need to put it. So this got me thinking, okay, this is actually where we need to move this patch right so we can go ahead and pull up a terminal here let's go ahead and su into root okay and what we need to do is we need to make that directory we need to make etc portage um and then we need to do patches is that we need a patches directory, right? And now we need to do media hyphen sound. So it's going to be patches and then the category, right? And then you're going to put whatever program you're patching. So in our case, it's going to be Audacity, right? So we do that. Now we need to move that patches file to that directory all right so we can do move i think it's home chris downloads and then well actually i'm gonna have to re-download that patch because i uh yeah let me just go ahead and save it here i thought i still had it on my system i do not that's okay but we need to move that patch that 4419 patch um, and we, we need to move it to that uh, directory. So patches. And then we'll just move it right there. All right. Great. So now we actually move that patch. And okay. Now, how do we patch? How, how do we patch the build with that code? Right. Well, I had to hop on Google again. Right. And I found a wiki telling us how to actually patch um how to patch that code so you can see right here in this, this example they were patching pc man fm okay but you can see exactly what they type they uh let me find it here they type this command right here ebuild whatever ebuild they're they're wanting to patch right clean and then prepare all right, so that's what we need to do. We need ebuild, audacity, diversion, clean, prepare. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Um, let me go ahead and flip over to a terminal here. All right, and uh, let me zoom in. So we need to go bar db media sound audacity, right? Okay, doing ls. And now we do when you can do ebuild. Actually, I need to get root first. Let me get root. I believe we need root for this. Do ebuild. And then we select the ebuild that we're gonna be patching. We don't want the newest ebuild because we we're, we we want to patch the Audacity 3.2.5 ebuild, right? And since uh since this has came out or whatever you can also see they they do have version 3.3.3 .3, but i did want to make this video for you guys showing you guys how to actually patch it with the other ebuild so we need ebuild the program clean prepare okay 
hit enter. And now you can see right here, it says, hey, we're applying, we're applying up patches, right? And then you can also see right here at the bottom where it says applying user patches. All right, so it's very important that you see that applying user patches. All right, so now what we do, well, so we, we patch the e-build. Well, we have to reinstall the, the program because the e-build is patched, but we have to install that new, that new code, right? We have to rebuild um, Audacity with that new code. So we can do emerge, and then I'll do an equal, um, and I'll do it, Audacity 3.2.1. <clears throat> okay. I'll hit uh, yes here. And you can also see when we do that, it also said, hey, uh, we're applying the user patch. So I got to let this build real fast. It shouldn't take that long. Okay. Now that the new Audacity is installed, let's figure let's find out if it actually patched it you know and, and it works right so we can fire it up here we can do file open and i'll import one of these files and you can see it imports exactly the way that it's supposed to import okay and now i could tweak the audio um however I wanted to, right? So that's how you patch an e-build, right? It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, okay? I did have to do some Googling to figure it out, but uh, I did eventually figure it out. And uh, yeah, and now it works. It works the way that it's supposed to. And uh, yeah, I'm a happy camper. So if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that, feel free to leave them down below, as always. And I do want to thank my old subscribers, and I want to thank my newer subscribers that are subscribing to the channel. If you guys have any kind of questions, um, make sure you just leave them down below, because I, I do, I try to get back to each and every single one of you. I'm also going to be doing some more live streams. Um, I realized that I've kind of neglected my live streaming the past two months three months but i'm gonna be getting uh back into that and uh i'm gonna try and have a kind of a set schedule for you guys so if you guys are you know want to catch me on a live stream or anything like that then uh feel free to stop by say what's up okay so until next time i want you guys to take care be safe and peace bye guys